ask you, have you ever given any thought to the things that last? Now, I'm not talking about steel and plastic, okay? I'm talking about things that are about us, things that are with inside us, our impression that we make to others. Who are we lifting up and helping? Who are you lifting up and giving a helping hand to? Who am I lifting up and helping? In this video, I'm going to talk about the things that last. And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss a video. Now, last year I attended a memorial service for a man I had never met. I'd only recently met his wife and since I wanted to support her, I attended the service. I knew nothing about the man except his name. The parking lot at the church was almost full. Inside it was standing room only. Hundreds and hundreds of people were there. His golfing buddies, his church group people, his family, his friends from all over. The people he met at the store are out and about. So many stories were told and those stories were so funny. It was clear that this man would be truly missed. He lived a life that was about others and not about himself. He was the first to smile, first to tell a joke and engage in conversation, and he expected nothing in return. His children spoke about what he taught them, how he engaged with them. His wife of over 40 years was just as enamored with him then as she was when they first met. He left behind memories and so much more. He left behind a legacy, a reminder to others that life is not all about us. It's about the others around us. Who do we impact? How do we impact others and where does that happen? Well, this got me thinking about me and my memorial service. Who, besides my family, would attend? Am I making an impact? Anywhere. Would I be missed? What about you? Would you be missed? Now, I'm sure some people would miss us, right? And I guess I'm thinking more about what we leave behind. Are we just leaving behind all our stuff? Or do we leverage our lives for the things that last? Relationships, family and friends eternal things. What about you? Will you be missed by anyone besides your family? I know this is weird to think about, but I'm just wondering for me, what can I change now to make an impact for tomorrow while I'm living and breathing on this earth? I've been soul searching and trying to find an area in my life that is not family or friends that I can invest my time in. Yes, my weekly blog posts do require time, energy, and thought. And just think, I'm praying and writing to you someone I've never met, and hopefully my posts inspire you in your own life. But I wanted something a bit more tangible. Then this past May, I went to a meeting at the local high school. And this particular school has started a career coaching and mentoring program for high school students. And as a mentor, you stay with your student or students as they figure out their career path, which might be trade school or a four-year degree or something totally different. From my understanding, we do a lot of the research together, and this has me pretty excited. I have quite a few thoughts on going to college and getting a four-year degree, and of course, those thoughts are not totally mainstream. I'm hoping that this program will provide an opportunity for me to pour into the lives of others who aren't sure where to start. Do you volunteer at school? Bring snacks to the soccer field? Maybe help out once a month at a shelter, or maybe you just smile and talk to the beggars at your local grocery store. Or maybe as a mom, your kids are all you have time for. Children are definitely things that last. Or is your head down? Now I'm definitely trying to get into, I'm not trying to get into your face here. That is not my intent. Since I'm just wondering how I can leverage my life for the things that last, I thought you might be wondering the same thing too. Because my head seems to always be down and I need to lift it up. Would you like to join me in figuring this out? Would you like to join me in figuring out how to leverage your life for the things that last? Let me know in the comments below what you do to keep your head up. How do you make a difference in the lives of others? others. I would love to know. And as always, I'm cheering you on as you work to reach your financial freedom and joy.